The path of the annular solar eclipse will first start near Reedsport and continue through parts of the Willamette Valley and into southern Oregon. Inside the path, Corvallis is right on the edge, very edge of the, of the path. This time around is going to be different from what many of us saw in 2017 in Oregon with the total solar eclipse when there was complete darkness for two minutes. Next month's show, the moon will only partially cover the sun and it won't reach totality. The outer edges of the sun will still shine bright. We're going to see the reverse where the disk of the moon is smaller than the disk of the sun. And that's why it's called angular. It's an angular eclipse. It's going to be a, what's called the ring of fire. Jim Todd with OMSI says even if you're not in this path, you're still going to get a chance to see something in the Portland area. Here in Portland, we're going to get about an 86% partial. It will seem like a ring, but not complete. Uh, it's more like a big crescent phase, if you want to call it that. Todd also says it's important to protect your eyes during these events. It's imperative that you wear solar viewing glasses, certified solar viewing glasses, to view the entirety and never take off your glasses. That's the big difference from the totality. What's different this time around compared to 2017's event, it's easier to find a place to stay. In Eugene, they have plenty of room. We're just not seeing the same thing. I don't know if it's just because it's not a total eclipse, although, again, it's going to be pretty spectacular. If you're hoping to see the eclipse on the coast... People still have an opportunity to come see it for themselves. It's not too late. You're still in luck, but as we get closer, many spots in the path are expected to fill up quickly. All right, Joe, if you're hoping for clear skies in Oregon, which admittedly is kind of a bit of a question mark in October, uh, where is your best bet along that path? Yeah, David, I wish I was uh, that good of a forecaster to forecast out 32 days away. But again, by mid-October, there's a good chance we'd be seeing some cool and cloudy conditions, maybe a few showers along the beach. But if I'm a, if a betting man, I would suggest going to the central and eastern side of the state. I think there'd be a better chance of seeing clear skies near Sisters that time of year. And speaking of the path, you guys, it's going to be covering eight states on the morning of the 14th.